next question is about the periodic table you are given fluorine chlorine bromine and iodine they are placed in the same group of the periodic table which is correct state the state the common name used to describe elements in this group so elements in this group the common name it is actually halogens they are called halogens which is the group seven elements their common name is halogens number two state the group in which the elements are placed and explain why they are placed in that group they are placed in group seven so groups of the periodic table of the periodic table contains elements with the same number of electrons in their outermost shell so those that are in group one all elements in group one their outermost shell has one electron those that are in group two their outermost shell has two electrons so forth to group seven so these elements they are placed in group seven because they all have seven electrons in their outermost shell which of the above named elements is a solid at room temperature and pressure among the halogens the element which is a solid at rtp is iodine question b Chlorine reacts with sodium bromide to give sodium chloride and bromine according to the equation below. Explain why the above equation is possible. So this equation is possible because chlorine is more reactive than bromine. So it can displace bromine and get the sodium from bromine to become sodium chloride. So because chlorine is more reactive than bromine, that equation is possible. What would be observed during this reaction? So in order for us to tell that the reaction has taken place, we are going to observe a color change indicating that bromine has been displaced. Then construct an ionic equation for the reaction above. So the ionic equation, you've got chlorine. Since it is in grams, we leave it like that. Sodium bromide, it is in aqueous. So we separate it. We've got sodium ions and bromide ions. And sodium chloride, it is also in aqueous. So we separate it. We have sodium ions and chlorine ions, and lastly, the bromine ion. This is the ionic equation. And see, we didn't do any cancelling of what is found here and there because the question did not say the net ionic equation. So since it says the ionic equation, we just leave it there showing the charges or rather the ions. So that's the ionic equation. We move on to the third question, to the third next question. The next question is on electrolysis. That's the topic. Uh, and question number A, you are asked, does this, does this represent an endothermic or exothermic process? Or electrolysis process, they are exothermic because they produce in energy. B2, B1. To increase the voltage of above cell, either the zinc rod or the iron rod can be replaced by another metal rod. Name a suitable metal which can be used in place of a zinc rod. So in place of a zinc rod, you can use carbon. In place of an iron rod, you can use platinum. Write an equation for the reaction occurring at the iron rod. So iron rod, it is an anode. So the equation which will occur at the anode because where the anode is, that's where the hydrogen gas will be produced. So the equation that will occur, you have that hydrogen plus an electron producing the hydrogen gas. And such kind of equations, we call them half reactions. We move on to the second question. Question number seven. It's about redox reactions. So you are given that equation, hydro, hydrochloric acid plus potassium manganate is equal to manganese chloride plus potassium chloride plus chlorine plus water. So you are asked what is meant by a redox reaction. So a redox reaction is a combination of two words and those words is reduction and oxidation so reduction and oxidation those words were combined to form redox reaction 
So when we say redox reaction, we refer to a reaction where both reduction and oxidation take place. A reaction, not only oxidation is taking taking place or reduction is taking place no but both oxidation and reduction are taking place that reaction will be called a redox reaction and remember oxidation is gaining oxidation is uh, the addition of oxygen and reduction is the removing of oxygen or you can say oxidation is the addition of is the removing of hydrogen and reduction is the adding of hydrogen or you can further describe oxidation and reduction in terms of oxidation states, which are oxidation numbers, of which we're going to meet them as we proceed with the same question. We come to question number B. Calculate the oxidation number of chlorine in hydrochloric acid and explain why a change from hydrochloric acid to chlorine is an oxidation process. So the oxidation number of chlorine, it is actually negative one. How do we know that? From hydrochloric acid, hydrochloric acid, HCl, the oxidation number for hydrogen is fixed, it is known, it is positive 1. So positive 1 plus the oxidation number which we don't know for chlorine, the answer has to be 0 because this, it is expressed as a neutral compound. So since it's a neutral compound, it has to be 0. But we've known that hydrogen, its oxidation state is fixed, it's positive 1. So we'll say positive 1 for hydrogen, plus we don't know the oxidation number for chlorine, we have to get a 0. So solving for x, we're getting a negative 1, which shows that chlorine, its oxidation number is negative 1. Hope it's clear there. And we're saying chlorine, if we move from, uh, let me write this, if this has reacted hydrochloric acid, or hydrogen chloride reacted, then the, the formation of chlorine is formed. Why do we say this is oxidation? Why is this oxidation? According to oxidation number, oxidation is an increase in oxidation number. An increase in oxidation number. Now, here we're saying the oxidation number of chlorine is negative 1. And here, the neutral chlorine, its oxidation number is 0. So from negative 1 to 0, there is an increase. So because there's an increase in oxidation number, the move from hydrochloric acid to chlorine, it is described as in oxidation. So my, re my writing of the answer, you can actually have it there. We move on to the C part of the question, same question number seven. The C part, it says calculate the oxidation number of manganese in that and that. So in this compound, this is the compound. What is the oxidation number of manganese? What do we know? The oxidation number of oxygen is fixed. It is negative two. And the oxidation number of potassium is fixed, it is positive 1. So positive 1 plus negative 2. Now, oxygen as a single atom is negative 2, but here it shows that we've got 4 oxygen atoms. So negative 2 times 4, you're going to have 8, negative 8. So negative 1 plus negative 8 plus the x for manganese, which we don't know, we need to get a 0 because this is a neutral atom. So we're saying 1 for potassium, negative 8, for oxygen, plus x, we need to get a 0. 1 minus 8 is a negative 7, plus x is 0. Solving for x, we're getting x as a 7. So the oxidation state for manganese in this compound is actually 7. Hope it's clear there. <coughs> now let's calculate the oxidation state for manganese chloride. Manganese chloride, chlorine, its oxidation state is known, which is negative 1. Now, since we've got two chlorine atoms, so this negative 1, we're going to multiply it by 2. So the oxidation state for chlorine is actually negative 2. But then, this manganese chloride, it is expressed as a neutral compound. A neutral compound, its oxidation state is 0. So the oxidation state for manganese and the oxidation state for chlorine, 
we have to get zero. And for chlorine, we know it's negative two. So negative two plus the oxidation state for manganese, it has to give us zero. Solving for X, we are finding two. So manganese, its oxidation state is two. And that's the answer. The last question in this question, is the change from manganese to that oxidation or reduction? The change from this element to this element, is it a oxidation or reduction? Remember, oxidation is the increase in oxidation number. So here we are changing from, we are changing from potassium, we are changing from that compound to this compound. The oxidation here for manganese, it is actually seven, positive seven. The oxidation here for manganese is actually positive two. So is this change a reduction or oxidation? So remember, this is a, there's a decrease. There's a decrease from seven to positive two. The number is decreasing. So the decrease in oxidation state, it is reduction. And the increase in oxidation state, it is oxidation. So because it has decreased from seven to two, that is a reduction. But the previous question, it increased from negative one to zero. Negative one going to zero, it is an increase. No wonder why it was oxidation. But in this case, this is a reduction process. Okay, hope that's understood. Thank you.